Hey everybody, thank you for watching Weekend Garage. Hey, sorry um, for the gap in the videos there. You know, I was under the weather for a little while and now I'm just basically trying to play catch up. So the next steps are to get the wiring harness wrapped uh, and basically installed across the front, front of the car and then get it over to the side where the battery is there. Uh, also, I need to go ahead and install the battery tray. I've kind of been sitting on that for a little while. Um, but um, I need to get that done as well. I ended up um, getting the um, battery, battery tray bracket that I was needing and um, I didn't have this before and I didn't even know that I needed it. Um, but it's extremely important <laughs> because it basically helps brace the, the weight of the battery. So the way it goes basically is this bracket will will mount on the fender well basically and then it'll it'll bolt right on the front of the battery tray here so um basically it'll go like this um with this fastening to the the inner fender well if you could see this bracket right here this mounts uh, underneath the battery tray and basically that fastens to the inner fender well um, I don't, I do not have any holes, uh, provision for that, for this bracket right here. So I'm going to have to, uh, drill out some holes. So I'm going to mark this with a marker and then get that drilled out. And then finally get this battery tray, um, taken care of. Another thing that I picked up as well, uh, let's see here. these uh, little fasteners for the wire harness. I'm told these are close to what the factory uses. It's, they're not identical, uh, but you're not gonna see them anyways. And um, they're in a little packet here. Let me see if I can take one out. And I'm just showing you guys because I didn't have these on the car and I'm asking people from the First Gen Monte Carlo Club, hey, and does anybody have a picture of these? What do they look like? So uh, if you're doing a build, and and you don't have any of the original stuff you know at least you can uh get an idea from this and maybe use something like this and i guess i should check real quick to see if they're going to fit before i even show them to you oh yeah yeah they'll fit um little loose but they'll go right in which is fine i did so basically you wrap you put the wire harness on this thing and you wrap it with the tape so this will be part of the wire harness and then it snaps in basically the the holes that are uh in here to, to mount the wire harness. so i'm what i'm doing here is basically is i'm wrapping these little uh fasteners that 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 snap in right here in front of the radiator so i'm just wrapping them separately rather than wrapping them in the harness itself um you know again kind of a last minute thing but i just wanted you guys to see what i'm doing here and then this is going to snap down inside here um and there's there's a couple of more i have to count them out to see how many there are but obviously i'm going to put a put some electric tape on both sides there to get it cinched up and um and then this will pretty much be ready to go and then i can go ahead. okay so what i've done uh, this far is um, I went ahead and uh, I got the wire harness wrapped all the way to the battery here. So um, um, I have a power, main power wire here that comes off the, the left side of the, the bulkhead on the fuse block there, um, the wire harness. So this, this main power wire has to go to the battery. And then I have this purple wire. This purple wire um, goes to the start of solenoid. So um, what I ended up doing basically, and there's one other wire I want to show you. I took it out. Um, this, this brown wire here was on the harness and I removed it. And I, I probably should have showed you guys how I, how I took it out of the harness. But basically, if you look at the little connector right there, I basically just got some needle nose pliers and and squeeze it like that and that'll close this up a little bit you know it'll, it'll collapse it a little bit and it it allowed me to just pull it out of the the back of the the terminal um on the bulkhead there 
So I took this brown wire off. Uh, this basically was for uh, if you're running an alternator that with an exciter wire on it. So um, I believe that's how you pronounce it. So this is not needed because I went ahead and picked up a, a single wire alternator. So uh, I got rid of this. And, and what I ended up doing, and instead of unraveling the, the wire harness, uh, all I did basically, and I already have it tucked in the fender there, um, all I did basically is I, I, I wrapped these two wires just right alongside the, the headlight uh, harness here. Um, so, I mean, you can't even tell. So that, that saved me a lot of time. Um, that, that, that took a while for, to do that, to kind of get it all laid out and figured out. So I have this running across already. So obviously um, this is a plug that goes into the driver's side headlamp and all that there. And then I've got these, you know, I had done this side already as well. Um, so this side's ready to go. Uh, but one thing that I did figure out um, is this purple wire that needs to go to the starter solenoid is too short. So I'm going to have to extend this wire and I'll, I'll figure that out. Not a big deal. Okay. So I have these, uh, fasteners put on the harness already. Just kind of wanted to show you. So, um, sticking my finger in there, I counted four, uh, provisions to snap these in wire here, get that out of the way. That one went in actually, it went in pretty good snapped right in there and just got a feel I got the transmission lines in so I'm not able to really move this radiator too much um, and I don't want to bend the fins up either all right Whew. okay yeah so there, there's a bolt on the other side it's keeping me from getting in there so I got these two Okay, excellent. So there we go. So everything's good on this side as far as everything that needed to come across the radiator, uh, to my understanding at least. So like I said I need to extend this purple wire. Um, probably, I'm probably going to, it's funny, I'm probably going to need to extend it only about a foot. But I'll, I'll get under the car and measure it and see exactly how I'm going to do it because I might end I, I probably end up splicing it up here behind the battery so it's just a single color going out to the start um, one thing about this wiring harness is um, it comes with its own horn relay so uh, I'm gonna have to abandon the one here I actually have the external regulator already mounted here for the alternator I have the horn relay here as well uh, I'm gonna have to abandon that um, not really happy about that, but that's fine. I mean, it kind of is what it is. You got to, there's give and take, you know, with, with these things. Um, so far, I really like this wire harness, but this is, uh, I believe, the factory connector for the horn because I got, I got this little horn uh, harness uh, from M&H. So this is supposed to be factory identical. So, um, I'll have to put an end on this and then connect these two together, basically. I'm going to put some dielectric grease on this because that's always good uh, for connection. Makes it go on easier and it also makes sure that we have good uh, conductivity. Okay. So there's the horn. I'll have to cinch this up um, since it did just mount down here. Now it's a little loose, but I'll figure something out with it. But I just want to show you guys got the horn connection. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be looking at doing basically is I need to install, uh, they're called the um, Megafuse uh, assembly. So with what, what these things basically do is they're, they're going to have two fuses uh, on them. So these are basically um, going to be like fuse block terminals. And uh, so there'll be a fuse for the alternator and the starter. 
and then there'll be a fuse for the main wire harness uh, on here. So these will these will go together, um, and I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to put them. I've got an idea right now, and I'll I'll bring the camera around to show you, but uh, just for purposes sake illustration um, I'm actually thinking of putting them right here behind the battery there's there's a spot here and again I'll I'll bring the camera around but uh, it looks like I'm, I can just put it here right behind the headlight and that'll be um, the cool thing about that is I'll be able to hide these um, because at first I was thinking that I was gonna put them right here know. or something like that but um, again I want things to look clean on this thing and I don't want a big old gigantic fuse block like that when you pop the hood I don't want anybody to be able to see that so I'm thinking if I'm able to put it back here behind where the battery goes that that I'll be good and so these also have a cover um, you can you can put the cover over it basically and, and then knock it out so the cables come in um, so basically it has this big old piece of six gauge power cable. So um, this is a, a section of this is gonna run from my uh, one wire alternator, uh, I believe to the fuse block and then from the fuse block to the battery. Um, and then uh, the other one, the other section will run directly to the starter. Um, I believe that's how it goes. I'll look at the paper right now. Yep. And I'll show you guys this so you can see what we're looking at here. It's just kind of a general idea of how this looks. So um, again, if I can get it mounted back here behind the headlight, man, it'll, it'll be so nice because it'll be just kind of out of sight, out of mind. And again, it's gonna, it's gonna provide uh, fuse protection for the main bulkhead wire harness there. Um, all, you know, and also the charging system as well. So if you can see this cavity here behind the headlight, um, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of room back here and doesn't, you know, looks like it's not gonna be in the way of the battery. Um, so that's what I'm thinking of doing. Okay, I have the uh, Megafuse um, block installed. And uh, you can see I have a level on it. Everything looks pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna get on to the next steps now. I'm very pleased with the way it was able to fit there and mount up. So I'm really happy with the way the Megafuse installation turned out. It turned out really good. Um, so let me show you another shot with the uh, fuses on and uh, just so you can kind of see what it looks like. Uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start making up the the, the cable here for connection to the uh, starter solenoid. Uh, I need a connection from the starter solenoid to the battery, and then uh, from the mega fuse block to the alternator. So I'm gonna get to work on that, but uh, let me get the camera over there to show you guys. All right, there is the completed mega fuse block. Uh, I put the fuses on. It looks really good. Man, I'm really, I'm really impressed with the way that came out. So now I gotta start wiring it up, but I just wanted to show it to you guys, it's looking great.